Sheboygan Senior Activity Center gets new home. All Red Cross blood donations now screened for antibodies. Two arrested after overnight chase in Sheboygan. These and other stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hi, I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, September 24th, 2020. With 31 recoveries since Tuesday, the 21 positive test returns for COVID-19 in Sheboygan County enabled a drop of 10 in the active caseload here according to the daily report from the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health. The positive test return rate was 5.6%, down from 8.8% the day before. Of the 136 active cases, 13 hospitalized, matching the peak hospitalization, for the county last recorded on 9-11. 1,540 county residents have now tested positive for COVID-19 since the pandemic began in March. And all about 15 have recovered from the disease with 344 cases attributed to them. The 20 to 29 year old range age group accounts for just over 22% of all cases in the county. 246 have been experienced by those in their 30s, 236 were in their 50s, 218 were in their 40s, 174 COVID cases occurred to those in their teens, and 157 were in their 60s, 77 in their 70s, 58 were 80 or older, and 30 were younger than 20 years old. Apart from the recent uptick on county COVID-19 cases can be accounted for by facility-wide investigation now underway at Kettle Moraine Correctional Institution. Although the numbers recorded there contribute to the total case count in Sheboygan, they are not represented in the active case count. Statewide, the seven-day average positive test return rate has been on the increase since declining to 14% on September 15th. With 13.1% of all tests since Tuesday in Wisconsin coming back positive, that rate is now 16.9%. And a goal of health officials has been to have the rate at 5%. 1,762 new cases of COVID-19 were recorded since Tuesday, raising the state total to 105,932. Eight more persons have died since yesterday, raising the state death toll to 1,259. 56 more persons with confirmed cases of COVID-19 have entered hospital treatment, while another 190 are hospitalized and waiting their test results. Of the 474 confirmed patients, 134 are in the ICU and 358 persons require ventilators to support life. A positive case of COVID-19 has been detected at Sheboygan South High School. A message to families was sent out on, went on Tuesday from the Sheboygan County Public Health Officer, Starlene Grossman, and School Superintendent, Seth Harvatine, explaining that contact tracing is now underway in order to quickly identify and notify parents of any students and staff who may have come into close contact with the individual who tested positive. Those so identified will need to quarantine at home, Meanwhile, cleaning and disinfecting the classrooms involved is being completed. The message contained no suggestions that schedules or learning modules will be altered as a result. This is just the latest incidence of COVID-19 in the Sheboygan Area School District. Cases had previously been found at Sheboygan North and Central High Schools as well as Grant and Longfellow Elementary Schools. In addition, the county DPH has conducted facility-wide investigations at Lakeland University, Elkhart Lake Glendula High School, 
Park View Elementary in Plymouth, Bethlehem Lutheran in Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls Middle School, Howards Grove High School, and Kohler High School. As research continues on the use of convalescent plasma to treat COVID-19 patients, any donations through the American Red Cross could now help the efforts. Previously, individuals who had been diagnosed with COVID-19 could donate at only about one out of 170 donation centers across the country. Their antibody latent plasma is critical to those fighting the disease. Now, all Red Cross blood drives are able to test for the antibodies, making much more convalescent plasma available. Dr. Aaron Goodhue of the Red Cross said that all donations that test positive for COVID-19 antibodies will undergo more testing to confirm the results. And every donation is important in the coronavirus battle as only 2% of the population has the needed antibodies. To encourage donations, the Red Cross will offer $1,000 Amazon.com gift cards to five lucky winners who donate in October, and those who donate before the end of September will receive a Sport Clips haircut coupon by mail. An agreement to purchase the former Save-A-Lot building at 1817 North 8th Street by the city of Sheboygan has been reached and the building will become the new senior activity center. That announcement came yesterday from City Director of Planning and Development, Chad Pelichek. Strategic planning began last year to look at future needs with the current building at 428 Wisconsin Avenue in mind. That is because the senior population is likely to grow 72% by 2040, while examining the current center, an outdated and failing HVAC system was discovered and the roofing was found to be failing. Facing a $700,000 repair bill, the Common Council decided instead to purchase a new site, leading to the purchase of the building of Save-A-Lot. The city will convert the 30,000 square foot facility in phases to meet current needs of Senior Activity Center. With future needs for expansion and potential community partnerships in mind. And the facade will be upgraded for a better neighborhood fit. Design and bidding for the renovations will occur after final closing, which is expected to occur in 2021 and being construction could begin in about a year. Two men are facing charges after leading Sheboygan police on an early chase on Tuesday morning. Police say an officer tried to pull a car over around 2 a.m. and the car took off heading west on Mead Avenue. The driver failed to slow or to turn when he got to South Business and sent the car he was driving up the embankment near Quick Trip. Both the driver and passenger took off running. One of them nearby was caught and the other man was arrested at his home. One of the men was felony or on felony charges and no one was injured and names are being withheld until charges are filed. And finally, surface preparation in advance of Asphalt overlay will require detours on four Sheboygan city streets this week, according to the head of the streets division, David Groves. The four projects are expected to take until October 12th to complete. Beginning yesterday, Salmon Avenue was close from the North 21st and North 25th streets between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. The milling of the road surface barking will be prohibited and traffic will be routed to the Superior Avenue. Beginning today, North 18th Street from Calumet Drive to Martin Avenue will be close to 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. daily for the duration of the project. Street Supervisor Groves said that the local detours will be placed 
that are in the minimal impact to the projection and traffic, and he requested obeying all signage. Martin Avenue from North 15th to North 18th Street will also undergo milling in preparation for asphalt overlay between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. daily. Traffic will be rerouted to North Ave Avenue, Calumet Drive, and North 15th Street. <clears throat> Finally, North 10th Street will be closed from Erie to, Septem er, to Superior Avenues between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. daily beginning Friday. That traffic will be detoured onto North 9th Street with e Erie and Superior Avenues. Again, work on all projects should be completed by the October 12th weather permitting. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next time for more local news and stories on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.